Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is Git class defaults. Let's run through our example. I hit play. I do something, and I get 100. 100 is actually the hit points of my little class actor here. However, if I was to delete this actor and run it again and do something, well, I still get 100, but you'll notice there is no class actor inside of my scene or inside my world outliner. I'm using the class defaults to give me back the variables of a class without actually constructing it or spawning it into the scene. So let's see how that works. Now the node itself, let's type in class defaults and actually <laughs> collect the correct one, class defaults, will be under class, get class defaults. And by default, it's going to come up with itself as the class and nothing for the output. It's a dynamic node. It's going to change itself based on whatever it's set up to. And it's going to take in a class. Now for the most part, this is going to be anything with a base type of class so it's going to be anything you're going to create in our instance we created a blueprint the blueprints right here there's nothing in it for this example it's just holding some things and it's holding three variables level variable name variable and hit points variable and the difference here is the hit points variable had has had its category changed to settings now even though the node is called get class defaults it doesn't have to be the default category for it to get it. It's going to get any of the variables that you have assigned or created inside this class. In our case, three of them. And if we do the BP actor right here, the one we were talking about, you'll now see it gives me back my hit points, my level, and my name, the three variables. So that's why when we hit play, if you notice here, I have my hit points hooked up and then return back to my text. I'll hit play. When I do something, it simply gets the class defaults and gives me back my hit points. Now this is dynamic. So if I go into here and we do a new variable, we call this one experience. We'll set this one up as an integer and compile. When we go back here, you now see experience has been added. Now if I was to hook up experience and hit play, we're going to get back zero. And hopefully you know why. It's because our default value is zero. I've never set it up. So when this refers to the class defaults, it's referring to the default value that you have set up for all of your variables inside of your class. So if you haven't actually done anything with them, for example, you don't have any default variables, you're going to get back the default default, which will be blank or zero or something like that. Now the order is determined in this node output by the nodes the variables you have set here. So if I was to remove experience and move it up, for example, and these are annoying to move. Oh, okay, let's move it down. Works easier, right? There we go. Nope. Come on. There we go. Experience is above name now. Compile. And you notice this experience is above name now. So I've gone ahead and reordered based on this order. And of course, it'll do the subcategories as well. Hate reordering. There we go. So now experience, hit points, level, and name. And we'll look at it in experience, hit points, level, and name. So keep that in mind. The order in here is going to be the order on your output. Now, a use for this would be if you want to simply get access to a default value without spawning it, which is the entire point. This is a small example. I only have these four things from a fake character. But maybe you have an array or struct they're using to hold things like weapon stats or default values for things. You have 10 weapons, each weapon has default values. You want to do a quick compare to show a player the difference between the weapon they're currently equipped and maybe a different weapon type. You can easily just get the class defaults from the weapon rather than spawning in a whole new weapon in order to get them. That is going to wrap up the get class defaults node.